You are eager to build your new home in Surrey, and you've applied for your building permit. If your application is missing significant details or documents, it will be rejected. If your application is filled out correctly, city staff will examine it in detail. Be aware, even a complete application must pass a number of steps before your building permit is issued. Check your email and make sure you and your team are prepared to respond to these next steps. Deficiency List After reviewing your plans and documents, the city may send you a list of deficiencies to address. You may need to revise your building plans in order to follow zoning requirements, building code safety measures, or restrictive covenants. For example, your property might have a right-of-way that forbids digging a basement because there are important underground service connections servicing your neighborhood. Minimize delays by learning about all the factors that may affect your house design before you draw your blueprints. The city suggests hiring a qualified house designer who is familiar with the process in Surrey. Additional permits. To knock down your old house, you'll need a demolition permit. To redo your driveway, a driveway permit is needed. The City of Surrey will inform you of additional permits and fees that apply to you. Service connections. Sewer, water, and other service connections may need an upgrade or redesign to fit your new home. For example, any city service installed more than 30 years ago may need to be replaced. The City will inform you where service upgrades are required and the associated costs. You will need to have your builder replace or install sewer and storm service connections. Water service connections are completed by city workers at the owner's expense. Pre-damage meeting. Sites must be examined prior to construction to ensure city property such as roads or sidewalks are not damaged. The city will schedule an on-site meeting with you or with your builder or contractor. Applicable fees and damage deposits will also be collected. Trees. Trees on your lot, as well as your neighbor's lot, will impact construction. In some cases, the city makes exceptions for trees to be cut down. However, in most cases, they will need to be preserved. The city will review your plans and send you next steps to pay tree bonds, set up tree protection barriers, apply for a tree cutting permit, and more. Remember, cutting trees without a permit could cost you up to $10,000 in fines. Your building permit. Once you have completed these steps and city staff are satisfied with your application, your building permit will be issued. Now that you have your building permit, be sure to secure your plumbing and electrical trade permits and a sprinkler permit if applicable. Once you have all your permits, your qualified builder may begin construction. The time it takes to have a building permit issued depends on the complexity of your application, payment and processing of any additional permits you need, and the number of building permits being reviewed by the city at the time. Be patient with the process and respond to city emails promptly to move your application forward. For more information, visit surrey.ca.